Toon Boom Studio runs on both Macintosh and Windows PC platforms, but there are a couple of times that we're going to have some differences in the way we work. As you see, I'm in uh, Macintosh OS 10, and what we're going to do is talk about some of the shortcuts that you'll access. So, for example, let's say I say to you, right click on something, but you're on a Macintosh and you have a one button mouse. Well, if you can't right click, not a problem. Just hold down the control key and then click. For example, like this control, click. What happens is then you'll be able to access the contextual menu that people with a right mouse button can access. Also, I want to mention that a two button or more mice are very, very inexpensive. So, I would recommend you visit your local computer store to pick one up. Now, another thing that's important is that sometimes I'm going to ask you guys to access a shortcut. For example, I'll say command click on something. Well, on a Macintosh, you'll command click to access a shortcut, but on a Windows machine, you're going to control click. For example, so let me go ahead and draw something very quickly. On a Macintosh, I press command and the letter A. And what happens is it will select everything on the camera view or the drawing view. On a Windows PC, you're going to hold down the control key and then hold down A. So once again, it's going to be either command or control and then the shortcut modifier. Another thing that's important is that on a Macintosh computer, some of the things that you'll be accessing will be from the camera list toolbar button, which is right here. Let me give you an example of that. You see this camera list button? Well, when you're working on an animation, you can make more than one camera. And to select which camera you're going to render from, you need to see this. But you'll also notice that this is not here by default. You have to put that there. So what you have to do is customize your toolbar. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your view menu and you're going to choose customize toolbar. When this opens up, you can select what you want to put here. For example, I put the camera list. I'll just drag it down, for example. I could just drag this and put it right there on my toolbar and you can put whatever you want to put in your toolbar up here as well as take things down. So if you don't want to see the auto light table, just pull it down and it goes away and you can always put it back up. Once you finish, click done. On the Windows PC, the camera view will be located in your scene view toolbar instead of the camera view toolbar. So those are a few of the things that you have to keep in mind once we get into these tutorials.